this is Scotty, and if you're a pet owner, he has an important message that he wants you to know about. Putting together an emergency pet kit as well as a go bag. So Scotty is going to show you what he puts in his emergency kit and in his backpack. The first thing to put in the emergency kit is food and water. It's recommended to pack three days worth of food and water. Don't forget to pack a portable food bowl. Scotty found these on Amazon. The next item is a first aid kit and a good pet first aid kit will contain bandages, antiseptic wipes, scissors, tick removers, a septic pen which stops bleeding, and a thermal blanket. This pet first aid kit comes with all of those things. And if your dog has specific medical needs such as medication, be sure to include their medication in this emergency kit. The next set of items to pack are an extra leash and collar for your dog with an ID tag if possible. The next items are comfort items. These could include their favorite toys, treats, and bedding that can make them feel comfortable during an emergency. I'm going to put in a really soft, cozy fleece blanket for Scotty that I know he'll love. And I'm also going to put in a couple of toys. Scotty, do you want a chew toy or a ball? Oh, you want the ball? You know what? I think we have room for both. I'm gonna throw in a surprise antler for him as well. The next items are important documents. These include vet and vaccination records, registration, ID tags, owner contact information, and if possible, a recent photo of your dog. The final items are practical items. It's a good idea to have latex gloves and refuse bags to pick up after your dog. These are all of the items in the kit. Let's see if Scotty approves or if he finds something missing. Finally, pack all of these items in the container that works best for you. That could be a backpack, a duffel bag, or a waterproof container. That's what I'm using. Now Scotty is going to show you what he puts in his emergency go bag. This is the bag that he would carry on his own back if we were on foot. Make sure to choose the right size for your dog. It should be waterproof and have comfortable straps. Scotty puts in one bag of food and one bottle of water on each side so that he's balanced. He also puts in one expandable bowl and his important documents can't forget refuse bags. And that's it. He's a little guy, so he can't carry much. Oh, and if your dog is too small or old to carry its own backpack, just be sure to pack their stuff in your go bag. Now we're going to put Scotty's backpack on him and take him for a test run to see how he does. Test runs are always a good idea because sometimes these backpacks can be a little complicated to strap on your dog. It took Scotty a few minutes to get used to it, but once he did, he actually was ready for an adventure and wanted to keep walking in it. So that's how you pack an emergency pet kit and a go bag for your dog. Scotty and I hope you found this video helpful.